After two matches being cancelled due to snow representative teams from Enmore Park, Minehead and Taunton. For Enmore congratulations go to Wendy Walker, who won both her matches, and to Lorraine Taylor on her debut appearance, who managed to turn around from being 5 down to Minehead after 9, to having on the 18th, and winning her match against Taunton. Wins against Minehead were gained by Judy Hancock, Joan Devay and Janet Hambly, but T. Afterwards Carolyn Blackwood, and more late as president, presented the trophies to the winning teams from Taunton. In the Edwards Cup final, played on Sunday, the knockout finalists were Lee Lewis and Sarah Rendell against Allen and Stephanie Bristow, who won on the first extra hole. Medal winners, Division 1 Steve Anthony Net 67, Division 2 Daniel Pester Net 65, Division 3 Jeff Powell Net 67 Ladies Winners Medal, 1. Lorraine Taylor, 2. Christine Hanneman Moore Seniors returned to winning ways this week, starting with an away win at Exeter Golf and Country Club on Monday by 5-3. Captain Graham Payne kept up his winning run when he won the opening game with Kevin Lewis by 1-up. Ian Stewart with Martin Watson and Chris Wilskeed with Paul Wavelington both won 2-1.5 and one and a half from Terry Hogan and Kelvin Tuthill also helped the cause. In the next three matches, and more only managed a half from Peter Farnell and Steve Lukens before Jeff Saunders and David Casco in the last game ensured victory in the match with a one-up win. The following day, and more hosted Warlberry in a rerun of the game from the previous week. And more gained revenge with a 4-2 victory. Peter Robinson and Mike Taylor set the tone with a 4-3 win in the opening game and were followed by Jim Potticary and Dave Cousins with a 2-1 victory. The fourth game was won by Mike Sullivan and Peter Scott by 5-4 and, and Peter Sherry and Tony Palmer got the vital point in the fifth game, winning by one hole thanks to Peter Sherry holding a monster putt from 15 yards short of the 18th green. Asterisk 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 Murray Parsons secured the opportunity to join Breen Golf Club professional Andrew March in the regional final of the PGA National Pro-Am. Parsons scored 44 points, which equated to an excellent gross score of 73. He won by four from Pete Barton and Tony Higgins, with Burton getting the nod for second on a countback. Parsons and March will now join forces to represent Breen in early August, when they will be just 18 holes away from a trip to the national final played in Portugal. March was in good form last week as he competed in the Total Triumph sponsored Gloucester and Somerset PGA Stroke Play Championship at Filton. He returned scores of 73 and 75 on a blustery day in Bristol to finish in a tie for third at the completion of the two rounds, two strokes behind winner Giuseppe Licata, tripping Sudbury. The previous day the qualifiers were decided for the semi-finals of the Upton. Dave Glassby and Phil Berry were the comfortable winners with 43 points and take the top seeding in the match play stage, where they will now face the fourth place finishers John Rabbits and Nigel Ellis. Runners up on the day were father and son duo, Brian and Jeff Reed, with 38 points, and they find themselves up against Pete Barton and Les Clutterbuck for a place in the final. Suzanne Hatfield won the April medal after a count back with Liz Blackwell. Both players returned net 72s but Hatfield had the better back 9 score to win her first medal in over a year. Third place went to Linda Edmondson with net 76. Bill Griffin was the winner of the John Heath Memorial Trophy on Tuesday. Griffin returned a 39-point score in the Stableford event to match the early clubhouse leader Roger Phillips. The countback rules were applied and Griffin won with the better back nine total, leaving Phillips to settle for the runners-up spot, Brian Reed was third on 38. The seniors romped to a convincing 5-1 win Minehead Warners on Wednesday. The hosts enjoyed some big wins, with Vincent Ford and Roger Blackwell shaking hands with their opposition on the 11th green, while Don Edmondson and John Cranley did the same one hole later.